This will help you get started on the assignment for AFM 101 and AFM 217. Hello, my name is Brent Gregory. I'm the unit coordinator for Intro to Accounting. And here's some guidelines for those of you that just haven't got quite started on the assignment. So you go to our home page on Blackboard. You go into our home page, Course Content. That's our home page. You'll see a button there called Assignment. You click on that assignment and you'll see two things. Assignment Part A getting started and I suggest you download that. That'll um, give you some steps to work through. And there's the Practice Set 2010 S2 Answer Template. So here's your assignment is in this answer template. Your first thing will be to download it. So you double click on that and you open the file. Now, for some of you this may not so here we can see you'll come up you'll get a screen looking like this relative resource ma manager now you can go pretty much straight away up here save as um, whichever Excel you've got to save it Excel workbook onto your computer but I won't save that at the moment I'll just go through filling this in so it's opened at your details which you should fill in straight away <coughs> it might be worthwhile to click on this button here, the maximize button, and I guess I can click on the maximize button here as well. But for the moment, I'll just make it a little bit bigger to enable you to see some things in the background. So, complete it. First name, last name. Also incorporated um, some material from later uh, in the unit. So you'll find there's some material you need to address even before we've studied it but I'll help you through that when we get there right up let's look at what you've been given number one the closing trial balance the 31st of the 5th 2010 so I go here closing trial balance 31st the 5th will also be the opening trial balance on the 1st of the 6th so here's your trial balance opening which is also listed as your trial balance closing You'll notice here the date's wrong. Trial balance May 30th, 30th. It should be trial balance May 31st. Um, it could also be trial balance June 1, because it, the, this is your closing trial balance from the previous month will be exactly the same as your opening trial balance for this month. Now, here's, here's your trial balance, your current assets, your non-current assets, current liabilities, owner's equity. These are all what are referred to as your permanent accounts all your real accounts. Let me talk about um, some things that are in the assignment. That are, you'll find a number of areas in blue which are not part of the assignment but it's part of useful information, part of things that over the, this unit you will need to learn. And so I've put this information in here which will not be so much relevant to you when you first start out on the assignment but as you're wanting to learn about these issues or be reminded what things are, if you come back and look at some of these things, they'll be relevant. And you'll see the difference between permanent accounts, which are all of these accounts here. They're all your permanent accounts. And temporary accounts, which we'll see some of those when we get to the chart of accounts. We also here, I don't want to change my colour scheme, let me get rid of that. Um, opening balance of subsidiary ledgers so we'll talk about subsidiary ledgers, ledgers a bit later and also here we have your accounts receivable age debtor listing and this is a bit more of a challenging um, area of this unit so which is why I've incorporated in this assignment to make sure people have the opportunity to really see the context in which it fits this is a good time for me to say this assignment is really about learning. You, you, no need to focus on the marks you get in this. What you want to do is focus on what you learn. You'll get more marks in your quizzes and in the final exam from what you learn from this assignment than what you'll get from the assignment. So let me go back to the instructions. It says we've got your closing balance for the trial balance, which we just looked at. Also your balance of your subsidiary ledger accounts the 31st of the 5th 2010 which we saw on the bottom of the trial balance opening balances subsidiary ledger accounts again remember that 
the closing balance in one month becomes the opening balance in the next month you also have your chart of accounts let's look at the chart of accounts so the chart of accounts is a list of every account that your business has and the number of the account so if you want to report if you want to report on um, a particular item you need to have an account for it so if you ever want to know what cash you have in the bank you need to have an account for cash in the bank if you want um, to know what your notes total notes receivable are you need to have an account for that we move down here if you want to know what your total salaries expense were you could have one account just for salaries however if you want to divide your salaries up and to know what you've got from sales salaries what, what you've paid for sales salaries and for office salaries you'd need to have two separate accounts so in summary your chart of accounts is all the accounts that your business has and this is their number right now back to the instructions you also have a list of transactions that need adjusting um, journal entries at the 30th of the 6th 2010 and a note containing useful information both 5 and 6 are on the one page and that's this page here helpful information so there's your items that require adjusting and here's some other useful information now my suggestion is that you print off this page helpful information your chart of accounts your opening trial balance and your transactions for the month you should print each of those off now I've designed them so that they should fit on one page so I've printed them off so let's now go back to the instructions that's just a, a quick overview of some information to start and as well as that we have a number of other things we have your journals with four special journals your sales special journal your purchase a special journal your cash receipt special journal and your cash payment special journal and we have the general journal whoops let me skip on. we have the general journal then we have subsidiary ledgers now the reason I've got the subsidiary ledgers next to the special journals is you'll find that items we enter especially in our sales journal and our purchases journal will also need to go in our subsidiary ledgers then we have the general ledger now this is a summary of every single account now this is the first part of the assignment then the second so by now what are you required to do um, you're asked to carry out the following tasks enter the opening balances into the general into the ledger accounts both the general ledger and the subsidiary ledger now before that one thing you need to do is let's go through to the general ledger you need to complete the general ledger now we've got your general ledger and we need to enter all your accounts in it and where do they come from your chart of accounts so I've called pulled up my chart of accounts here and we'll see we've already done the first item for you cash at bank is your first item in your chart of accounts and it's account number 101 then we go down to the next item and you, if you see from your chart of accounts it's notes receivable I tab across and it is 102 then I go down to accounts receivable which is written in for you and that is 103 go down a little further and you'll see we have allowance for bad debts and that's 104 now one thing you'll notice and we'll come to this a little later is this has a CR next to it for credit now why is that there well we're up in our asset accounts and the normal balance of an asset is a debit so if we've got a, a balance in here we expect it to be a debit if it's not a debit we need to indicate that a credit y you are um, permitted to enter into the opening balances into the ledger accounts right out let's go and do that now into the opening balances where do you get your opening balances from your opening balances will come from a page I hope you've printed off your trial balance opening so 
and we're going to go through the general ledger to start with the general ledger to start with where we just were now the last step we went through was um, entering the names and the account numbers in it now this step is to enter the opening balance so again the first one is done for you June 1st balance brought forward is the explanation no debit no credit the balance is $20,000 debit and where do you find that from if you go to your opening trial balance it's got cash at bank account number 101 debit 20,000 Now let's do note receivable so June 1 explanation balance bought forward 4,000 um, 40,000 that's 40,000 all right so this one is 200,000 I might have said 20,000 so your cash at bank was 200,000 your opening balance for notes receivable is 40,000 now let's go down to opening balance for um, accounts receivable and so again June 1 balance bought forward is 112,000 now I will do allowance for bad debts June 1 let me put the one in there June 1 